My name is Frank Otto Pedersen. I'm a landscape master photographer from Norway. In these vlogs, you will be following along on my journeys throughout Norway and beyond. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. In this episode, we travel from Dörholm and spend our second day of shooting in the beautiful Grimstal. Then we travel to our last destination, Jordunheimen. Follow along as we tackle grey, rainy and misty conditions in the Norwegian mountains. We decided to leave Dörholm and uh, relocate for, for next night. Um, it's really, really windy here. And we sort of, like, after yesterday's hike, we sort of just felt like, yeah, finding a new place. But driving out, we, <laughs> we just couldn't resist stopping. And it's so beautiful here. So I'm not sure we made the right choice by leaving, but we'll see. Actually, yeah. I think I actually look older now than I did on Friday. <laughs> yeah, nothing's happened to my face since we were, since we left. What is that? I think my beard's gone greyer. Mm. And has anything happened to my, my eyes? You know, I can barely open them. But anyway, it's time for sunset. And me and Lars is waiting in the car. We're going to drive somewhere. Have we decided? No. No. But it's gonna be epic. Oh yeah. <laughs> As always. As always. We're probably gonna we're probably gonna drive down to the river and see if we can find some compositions down there. Mm. And I was hoping it was gonna clear tonight. I was actually expecting that because the forecast has been really, really good for Astro on Sunday evening. <laughs> <laughs> but that just... <laughs> oh my. Oh goodness. But no Astro. Oh, it seems like. And that is a shame because um, this place right here should be a dark site sanctuary. 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 That's the proper pron pron pronunciation. Juicy. Let's bring out that 16 to 35. Polarizer on. Yeah. Third of a second. Sorry, th zero, 0 0.3 seconds. And boom. Uh, 
it's a gorgeous place. So I'm going to wander around a bit and see if I can find something else. Uh, yeah, just follow along. So I found this image right here. You can see it. Uh, there are some. You can see that there are some diagonal lines coming down from the left, hitting another diagonal line coming from the right, and leading right towards that lovely tree, right down by the river bank. There's not much light to play with, so this is what I get. I got. Coming home and editing your images, you often end up feeling different about them than you do on location. There were a lot of things I liked about this particular composition, but it might have worked out better with more juicy light conditions. I also ended up using the horizontal composition I played around with after finalizing the vertical one. So here it is. Not exactly a portfolio image, but well worth to be showcased. That was the end of day two. Tomorrow we are leaving this place, this area, and uh, driving towards uh, Jotunheimen. We're gonna spend our last night there. I'm really looking forward to that. I, ha I haven't been in Jotunheimen since I was a kid, actually. So I'm looking forward to that and see what it's all about. Um, so now let's just pack up our things and head back to the car. Goodbye to Gemstar Sita. What a beautiful hitter it is. Absolutely. Top smacking gorgeous. So far. Best hitter of the stay so far, yeah. yeah definitely. Most definitely. Ooh! It's shaky shaky. Fantastic. You're driving so like a maniac. Uh, no, Plus. I am not. He is. He is. The old fox is driving like a complete nutter. The silver fox. Oh, you know that feeling when you've been walking for hours and hours and you finally come to a place where you just find a really, really nice composition? That's exactly... No, that's not what happened here. Uh, we're just parked here next to the road. Whose uh, tripod is this? Mine? Is this yours, Lars? Yeah. Is it, is it big enough for you? It's perfect for me. It's perfect for you? Yeah. yeah. Actually... Uh, I, I think that's the only tripod I've ever seen which is actually taller than the guy shooting. <laughs> <laughs> what about this one? You happy with yours, Bryn? Uh, I could say yes, just to make it easy, but no, I'm not. No, you're not. Yeah. Full of salt, salt water spray. Yeah. And this is, of course, uh, the mine, uh, uh, uh. The, the big one. And we have, uh, <laughs> yeah, the mini mini. Oh, I should Hello. have a chair. Yeah, with you me. should have a chair with you. Uh, actually, this, is, this tripod is a lot of shit. Actually. A load of shit. Uh, I only on. took my small tripod with me this time and I can assure you it was a mistake because the wind here is absolutely terrible so this wobbly thing is just wobbling around <laughs> and you get don't get any pictures like, like, this, like this you mean yeah like that just like that <laughs> I made a huge panorama here including a little waterfall down there let me see if you can see it. It's not a waterfall. It's just a stream, to be honest. But I included that in the in the panel. Uh, the whole, this old valley here. So, <clears throat> gonna see how that comes out. Might come out nice. Who knows? OK, 
Okay, we're leaving this area now and heading to Jotunheimen. I'm ready. This is Jotunheimen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're getting dressed and properly ready for exploring the wilderness behind us. We got epicness and more epicness. More epicness. Photo Bonanza and Photo Gassum is all over us. We got rainbows, we got nice clouds, we got epic mountains, we got yellow trees. We got it all. Today has been way better than I could ever dream of. <clears throat> We've been driving through this area called Valdesvia and it is just insanely beautiful. I just cannot believe that we're here now. I've been dreaming about coming to Jotunheimen for a few years, but I, I just couldn't imagine it was this beautiful. Nowhere in my heart. All right, let's get this, get the groove on. You see the tree down there? And there's another photographer doing his thing. So yeah, I'm gonna shoot this now. Great, with this beast right here. Get on. How about that? Getting a belly in this one. Yeah. Okay. After shooting that awesome tree back there, I moved on to another composition. There is some there are some really, really nice mountains in the background. Partly covered in snow and there's low hanging clouds around them. And in the bottom uh, part of my frame, sorry about that, I got Tourette's by the way, if I haven't mentioned that. So sometimes I have these ticks. And I'm not actually kidding, I have Tourette's, but it's a mild <clears throat> form for it. So just bear with me on that. Anyway, this composition right here, I can try and f film this for you. So there it is, vertically. So at the bottom part of this image, I got a nice autumn colored bush working as a nice foreground. And in the middle of the frame, there's quite a lot of dead space, but it's also interesting because it's, it's sort of brown and it's, it's typical this type of lang landscape. And the, as a backdrop, we have the mountain. I like this. Simple, straightforward, showing the landscape as it is, so beautiful. So with this beautiful backdrop, 
I just want to say thank you for following along. This is last day. We're just going to use this day to drive home. And uh, if there is an image to be taken along the way, I will. we will probably do that. But it's not for photography today. I had a really, really great trip with the guys. And I hope to come back to shoot fall colors next year around Norway. It sure is beautiful. So bye for now and stay safe and hit that subscribe button if you like my videos.